Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Seijin4 and this is a GTA 5 multi-tip video for the best tips on how to pass sawmill plant in survival mode on GTA 5. But first, there's a few things that we need to do to prepare for the mission. First thing we need to do is we need to go to the shop so we can get all of our snacks. And since we're here, like in real life, we're gonna have to rob the shop. So, when we get out of our car, we wanna leave our car parked like this uh, go up to the car, push yellow, quickly walk off, so leave the door open and because we're going to be going to this spot here as quickly as we can. Um, so once we go into the shop, you want to rub the shop with a silenced weapon. Yeah? Okay, okay, Keep the cops off you as much as possible, give us the most time to get away and get the best lead. After that you want to whip out a shotgun and make sure you shoot them in the face. Fantastic. And once we get into the car, we launch all the way as fast as we can. We want to get up to the top of this hill. So do exactly like this. Do a McTwist. Fantastic. And then we want to get up to the hill as fast as we can. Because you can see that big, huge blue compass chasing us there. That was the chopper. Because we've got three stars on it. Because we blew the dude's face off. And they're not too impressed about that. So we just want to make our way over here. The chopper's still following us, so we need to go a little bit further. Just up to where the spot was marked on the map. By the time we get up here, they should be gone. Yep, there we go. And as a little bonus, there's 300 RP there. And the next thing we want to do, prepare for the mission, is we want to go down and get some ammo and body armor, mainly body armor, yeah, because you want to make sure you've got at least about four packs of body armor and also wearing a body armor as you go into the mission. And after that, you just quickly go off to a safe point where you feel nice and safe and comfortable to jump into the mission, and then we go ahead and we start the mission. And in case you didn't know, we go do Boar's Online Jobs, Post Jobs, Rockstar Created, Survival Sawmill Plan. Okay, once you got that, you just confirm the settings and launch the job. Once you're in, the spot that we're looking for is up on the east side of the map. So we're going to make our way up to the top of the hill, up to the big huge wall, climb up over the wall, and then we're going to go about three quarters of the way down to where we can get a good overview of the map to where all the enemies come to. And basically once you've taken out all the enemies, leave one enemy so that you can have plenty of time to run back down to where we first jumped over the wall, hop down and grab some free armor. And if you don't need the armor, you're a beast. Fantastic. Okay. And this also gives you plenty of time to set up for the next wave. Also, one of the things I like to do is I like to put a sticky over here because it's actually one of the hardest places to shoot enemies from from where we're camping. Uh, also, just chuck a sticky at random. that would be a nice surprise for someone when they come along. And when the chopper comes along, you will get choppers on waves 4, 7, and 9 or 10, I believe. Um, at one stage, you will get two choppers coming out. I would suggest to shoot at the chopper as much as possible if you can't take them out just try and wreck the chopper that way it'll fly away and you'll have sort of be able to take out one chopper at a time okay uh, you will get every now and again one person that is persistent to not want to come out into the middle of the field and he wants to camp, camp up back here there's a couple of ways you can attack that but I chose to go smoke grenade and put myself back up here give yourself the most amount of time to set up for the next wave. Also got some head glitching here. There's a nice little head glitching spot um, right exactly where I'm shooting but be careful. At one stage you will, or a couple of stages actually sorry, you will get a few people coming up to attack you. Um, this was very rare, this is there's only, this has only happened to me once to where this many people actually came up. It's usually about one out of 40 will come up and try to kill you. Also, don't forget about your inventory. Uh, when the choppers come and these people are shooting at you, you're going to need to get your inventory pretty quick and it can become quite a tricky under pressure. So be careful. 
And one last bonus tip is, after wave three, if you go down towards where you first spawned, there's an RPG and a grenade launcher down there that you can pick up and you get to keep them and take them into the public match after the game. And you can kill someone for real, in real life. Cool? So if you enjoyed the video guys, don't forget to leave a like and a comment if it's just to say hey. And as always guys, feel free to subscribe so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos coming up on the channel. And enjoy your new RPG and YouTube. Have fun guys and hope to speak to you soon.